Well, it is a hot one, so Matt and I are gonna head over to ZDT's amusement park and ride the one and only wooden shuttle coaster. So we are excited to try that out. And it's the only real attraction there that we have any desire to really ride, but we'll see what else they have to offer. Well, just got here to ZDT's which is like a small little family amusement park. Pretty cool little place. Excited to show everybody what this place is all about. So it's $20 if you just want to ride Switchback. You have a nice arcade, yeah. And that's unlimited rides on Switchback. Um, if you want to ride everything, it's about $35. But if you buy the pass online ahead of time, I think you save five bucks. Yep, it has to be a day in advance. They have a little drop tower as well. I mean, there's not a lot to do here, but they do have some go karts and stuff as well. But definitely cheap and affordable family fun here in Texas. This park's in like the middle of nowhere too. There's not a whole lot going on in this area. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's a little bit of a switch track up here. Well, we just got off of the switchback, the only coaster of its kind, and it was different, very different. A little bit uh, rough. Yeah, it was definitely rough. It wasn't <laughs> Matt, super rough. It wasn't like riding war. Yeah. Or, or the wild one, or whatever the one that's like there. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, uh, I it, definitely couldn't marathon it. Yeah, I I don't know. I feel like I I probably could marathon it because it's it's not much either. I mean the track layout it's it's kind of short. Yeah. But with it going backwards, it adds like an extra thousand feet of track. I would say. True. Very maybe. True. Yeah. So definitely a cool experience so I do recommend trying it out at least once
Well, we just did it. We're getting on again. This is my third time, fourth time? Third I time. I think, yeah. Yeah. I'm at four or three, I it's, think. It's pretty fun. Adam, what did you think of it? Oh, it's good. It's good. It packs a lot of punch for its size. Yeah. It does. It's just slightly rough. Harry, what did you think? Woo! Not bad. <laughs> Better than my size of it? Not bad. Better than mine. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. I think we're going to take a look at the rest of this little park and show you what else they have to offer here. I mean, for $36, you get a water park as well, which that's pretty cool. I'll show you more of that here in a second. But they also have an indoor slash outdoor go-kart track. Yeah, it's multiple levels. And it's multiple levels, which, I mean, that's pretty sweet, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think they, they definitely have a lot to offer for $36. They do. I mean, 35, 36 bucks, it's not bad. I just got the pass to do the switchback because that's pretty much what we came for, but definitely value in getting the $36 pass. Yeah, it's a nice little water park. It's, it's small, but you know, hey, it's got some slides. Pretty cool. So that is kind of like a a coaster, a little water slide yeah. coaster. Like one of those ones that have like a one of those ones that have like a jet to boost you up, I guess. I think so. Yeah, pretty cool. Not a very forceful drop tower, yeah. but it looks fun. I don't know what the heck these silos are, are for, but pretty cool. And I don't really think they serve a purpose, but. A bunch of different little things for kids to do here. Pretty cool. Little bounce. Oh, what, what is this? Like a little. Oh wow, it goes up pretty high too. That's yeah, pretty sweet. Oh, holy crap. oh my goodness. It's like three stories up there. Yeah, it's it's actually I think it's like four. Yeah, it is. Wow, that's impressive. They also have a rock climbing thing. What is that thing over there? It's like a flight simulator. Wow, that's cool. They have a flight simulator as well. Extreme. 